my top 10 favorites for winters 2024 these are my personal taste cherry picked ones so i'm not going based on specific brands not really going based on performance not really based on complementing factor as well but it could have all of these or any one of these factors as well so my personal taste is only based on the formulation the taste that i personally have for the kind of smell they have okay so let's get started What's up guys, this is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Frag. 10 fragrances for the winters 2024. Only for the winters. Do not try them in the summers. Okay, this is specific for cooler weathers or if you spend your time in AC setup. These are my personal picks based on my personal taste. So if your taste matches with mine, then go with it. At number 10 is Tobacco Oud. An inspired version from Afia. The only inspired version that I love till date even more than the original. The original has the oud which is very dark and not that easy to wear. I did have the decant of the original. I love this one even more than that because that's not easy to wear. That's too masculine, too animalic, off-putting when you smell it up close. But this one is beautifully done, guys. You definitely have to check Afia's Tobacco Oud if you want an appealing, inspired version of Tobacco Oud. I combined this with Ajmal's Bakar Rouge 540 DNA. I think I, f I just forgot the name. I would have told in one of the videos. It's another, I think, shake. So there's something shake in that, okay, in that name, Ajmal Atar. It's called a shake. I just can't recall. But if you remember, please put it in the comments down below. I combined that particular Atar, which is Bakar Rouge 540 inspired with this tobacco wood, and it works wonders, guys. I got compliment twice when I tried it. It's just amazing. That combination works really fine with this one. At number 9 is Ajmal's 235. It's not 235 worth. It's not 235 Oud. It's just 235. It's a beautiful cinnamon and Oud based fragrance along with sandalwood and moss. Cinnamon and Oud along with sandalwood and moss. Performance is like peace. Okay. It projects like crazy. And I usually wear it with one of these three ethers one of these three because they all go in the same direction you can either try mukhalat rashid you can try kiblatul wafa or you can try ummal sheikh okay all of these are hindi oud based mukhalat blends yani it is blended with other notes as well like so sandalwood there is benzoin musk patchouli with hindi oud okay you can try any of these with that and it does wonders guys absolutely great because i got compliment from someone who hates oud but he complimented me from two to three feet away when he came closer he said mm, now i don't get the same feel that he got in the air okay so wear this kind of fragrance where you know people are not going to get that close but you want something magical and very unique and very impressive very stylish up class in the air Keep distance, talk to them, make them feel surprised by your fragrance. Don't go too close, okay? Because Oud is not for people in India. That's something that you need to keep in mind. So I do all these tricks depending on the occasion that I'm wearing the fragrance. So if I know that I'm not going to have too many people cuddle me or a hug, then I kind of wear this kind of fragrance, okay? Because that's where you should wear Oud fragrance because Oud is always magical in the air. At number six is Amber Santal by Ajmal. This is another beautiful cardamom, cedarwood, sandalwood, incense based fragrance. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, this is a peace mode. Do not overspray this one. Four sprays does the job for indoors. Six sprays does the job for outdoors. Only try it in the cooler weather. It does go in the summers as well in the evening times, but it smells even better in the cooler seasons. Okay. Do not overspray this one. This is magical in the hair. Has a beautiful cardamom, cedarwood, sandalwood sort of a vibe. At number five is from Yusuf by Angel Share. Okay, I recently reviewed it and I would simply say that this is the best version of Killian Angel Share inspired that I've tried till date. Latafa Kamra is very popular, I know, but it's super synthetic, guys. This is so smooth, so appealing in the air, so creamy, absolutely gorgeous. And I 
smelled this on my cousin who wore it for his sister's marriage gorgeous okay just gorgeous it smells fantastic and it projected after three hours and i could get it in the air like whiffs airy projection and it smelled so rich on him so this blend is obviously a must try and the best version in my opinion again not to forget not all of yusuf buy creations are good okay some people what they do is they randomly buy the one which they personally want and then they conclude saying entire use of buy is just crap okay it's not like that some of his blends are absolutely gorgeous untouchable type some of them are average some of them are good i've tried many and that's why i'm telling you so do not judge any brand for that matter with just one or two that you personally try go with the best ones of each brand that's how you judge a particular fragrance because every brand every brand have their own best sellers at number four is Ermene Gildo Zenia Javanese Patchouli. I love this one. This goes in the summer evenings as well. But I felt that this smells even better in the cooler seasons. Beautiful patchouli. A very creamy sort of patchouli with some touch of vanilla. And with some woody feel in the base. Has that beautiful cedar wood as well. Absolutely gorgeous. I've never smelled anything like this in the patchouli fragrances. This is super good guys. It's very classy. I did get compliments with this one after like three hours and I blended it with Lanouille de Lome frozen cologne and I'm sure that is not the one which created that magic because that doesn't project this one does okay and he's not somebody who appreciates fragrances but that day he complimented me maybe he appreciates fragrance but we don't talk about fragrance but that day he did compliment me and that was very surprising beautiful fragrance a little expensive but in case you get a chance for a decant definitely check that one out at number three, Nishani Shem. Okay, a beautiful leather osmanthus, floral accords, and a touch of vanilla. Okay, the leather here is harsh when you initially buy it, and then it settled down in my shelf without the box, and then that leather harshness came down, and then the osmanthus picked up that combination of osmanthus, leather, and the floral accords, along with the touch of vanilla is absolutely gorgeous in the air again do not go more than three sprays with this one this smells very rich in the air okay very rich in the air cooler seasons ac or winters keep that in mind that osmanthus combination with that leather and woody tones touch of vanilla brilliantly done guys there is none like this one in the air it is magical do not judge it smelling up close because you can feel that harshness synthetic vibes but doesn't mean that the ingredients used are cheap because you will you would have never smelled ingredients like this it's very beautiful it has that creamy touch as well Whew. gorgeous in the air guys so definitely check that one out but do not over spray three sprays for indoors five sprays for outdoors at number two is armani code profumo okay Again, this is a very old release, but I still love this one, guys. One of the best Armani Code series flankers, I would say. My personal favorite. There is Armani, Armani Code Absolute as well, which is even more smoother, creamier, slightly more sweeter than this and more appealing for women. But I personally love this one because this has a beautiful leathery touch along with Tonka, a touch of tobacco maybe. But it is, and with vanilla as well, but beautifully done. In the air, it is gorgeous again do not try it in the summers this smells absolutely gorgeous in the air i wore it to a suit occasion that i had obviously ac setup and it smelled really gorgeous guys there were like two or three people who complimented me and i knew it smelled really gorgeous because that kind of blend for suit pff, amazing number one this is a new launch and that's why i'm keeping it at number one and obviously i love this one as well the blending is super good and I have made a full review of this one. I even told this is the best version of Lamal series and this is Lamal Elixir. Beautifully done. Starts off with mint and lavender but it is not that evident like the previous version because it is beautifully covered by that chocolatey type of vanilla and that's because of the benzoin use here. It is beautifully done, has that honey touch, tonka and a touch of tobacco. Gorgeous guys. This in the air is gorgeous very rich smelling it's definitely new 
it has that bit of that lamal feel maybe like 30 percent but the rest of it is all superbly done you have to check this one only for the winters i'm telling you or in the ac setup beautifully created in the air it's magical again you don't really have to go beyond six sprays for indoors maybe eight to ten sprays for outdoors do not go beyond that because it can spoil that beauty because the first 30 minutes it does not give all of that creamy character it comes after 30 minutes and that is the beautiful part of this particular fragrance so that's about it i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in case you've tried any of these comment down in the comment section see you next time soon keep sharing the videos cheers